Hello. We're going to start in two minutes, so let's get ready, okay? Okay. Good evening today. So let's start, we have eight participants. We're going to start by calling the attendance, right? Vamos a pasar asistencia. Since 8.02. Ta 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 ta. Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Not here. Brenda Iris Escamilla Perez. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramirez. Carolina Yamilet Hernández Landaverde. Present. Claudia Ivette Samayoa Castro. Present. Present, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Hortas. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mejiba, Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores, Iván Ernesto Elías, Jessica Rosmerio Almedo Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's continue. Julio Carlos Martínez. Karina Mejiza Estrada. Nelson Iván Flores. Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez de Alvarado. Present. Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start right now with the class. Right, today is class number 13, videoconferencia número 13. Right, so let's do this today. 
Give me one moment so I can share my computer. Okay, let me ask you this, Julio, tell me one thing you remember from yesterday's class. Okay. Um, yesterday, writing sentence uh, with uh, W words. With WH words, okay. We were writing sentences with WH words. Okay, very good, very good. What else we were doing yesterday, uh, Carolina? ¿Qué más hicimos ayer, Carolina? Where, el, el, so the where, is, eh, con, eh, los, um, las question, question, anguish, we use questions. Question with the example. Uh -huh. Do you question and answers? Uh, answers. Example. Answers. Okay. We use questions uh -huh. and answers. answers. Example. Uh -huh. And examples. Okay. Very well. Very yes. good. We we give questions and answers in the examples. Okay. Excellent. Very good. What else did we do yesterday, Claudia Vet? Claudia Vet is not here. Eh, Carlos Roberto, what else did we do yesterday? ¿Qué más hicimos ayer? Carlos. Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto, no. Iván, Iván is going to help you. No, no se escucha, Carlos. Okay. Sálgase, sálgase uh, de Zoom y vuelve a entrar. Salga de Zoom y vuelve a entrar. Iván. Uh, do, do, you, do you simply present information and questions? We use simple present in information questions. Very good. We used simple present in information questions. And Claudia, what did we yeah. do yesterday? ¿Qué hicimos ayer, Claudia? Tell me one yes, example sir. of your questions. Excuse me, teacher. Voy a salir y volver a entrar porque yo también tengo problemas, pero no con el audio, sino que se me está trabando. Okay. Claudia. Claudia. Se me escucha. Yes. <laughs> Tell me one example of the questions you created yesterday. Un ejemplo de las que creamos el día de ayer. Yes, ma'am. Sí. Um, um, what do you start to work? Okay, when do you start to work? Very good. What else? What else, only that? Okay, now what we're going to do this moment is the following, okay? Yes? Okay. We're going to start working here. I want you to look at one exercise that I want you to do individually. Okay, we're going to do it individually right now. Look at here. Now in this exercise, right? That we're going to do. Oops, 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 oops. In this exercise that we're going to do, it says, Put the words in order to make questions, then answer the questions, right? That's what we're doing. So if we see here, it says, name your what's last teacher, okay? How would you create this question? It says, what's your teacher's last name? 
my teacher's last name is Barahona or Samayua or Revies, whatever, right? You can invent the last name. What would you do for number two? Ivan Ernesto, put these words in order, right? So you can create uh, a question. Mm -hmm. was, was your first name, teacher? Okay, almost, almost. How would you change that? Casi si, sí, Ernesto. Casi si. Sí. Who wants to help Ernesto? Quien quiere ayudar a Ernesto? What's your, what's your teacher's first name? What's your teacher's first name? Very good. What's your teacher's first name? What would be the answer, Ivan? Thank you, Heriberto. What would be the answer, Ivan? Uh, my first name is uh, Carlos. No, 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 no. Listen to the no. question that Heriberto created. Okay, what's your teacher's first name? You cannot say my first name is, no. What's your uh, teacher's first name? She's, she's my first, uh, no. no. No, look at the answer in number one. Mire la respuesta a la número uno. It says, what's your teacher's last name? My teacher's last oh. name is Susanita. Right? What's your teacher's first name? What is the answer? Ivan? Uh, she, she no. teaches? Follow the no. example. Sigue el ejemplo que ya está. Ya están preguntando algo similar aquí okay. arriba. Sigue el ejemplo. My teacher first name is. Ah, my teacher's first name is, well, here we can say Susanita, right? Okay. And my last, my teacher's last name is. Eh, López. Una pregunta, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, uh, este, como teacher, eh, lleva S. Eh, no estaría uh, por dos personas, no. No, because teacher, no. Uh -huh. teacher is one. Uh -huh. Teachers is two or more. Uh -huh. But here it says teachers with apostrophe. So that means that it's a possessive. Okay? Okay. No estoy usando plural acá. Si usted ve un apostrofe, no es un plural. Es un posesivo. Okay? okay. Very good. That's a good Very question, good. Ivan. Thank you so much. Muy buena pregunta es. What would you do in number three? Four and five. Hagamos los otros tres de forma individual. O si ya los hicieron, comentemos ya las respuestas. Let's do it. Tell me when you finished. Mm 
Yes, Karina, excellent. Just put capital letter at the beginning. Solo recuerdes a poner mayúscula al inicio. That is very important. Did you finish? Let me know if you finish, please. Are we good? How is your English class? Very good, Karina. English with capital letter. English. Very good. And the last one, Karina is giving me all the answers. What about the others? Who has number five? What are your classmates like? Very good. What are your classmates like? Okay, and where is your teacher from? Where is your teacher from? Very good. We have the questions. Now tell me the answers. Tell me the answers. What would you put as an answer in number three, Heriberto? What is your teacher from? Sorry. Uh... Mm, he's from San Miguel. He's from San Miguel. Okay. Very good. That's a possible answer. Very good. And number four, how is your English class? How is your English class? Karina, what would you put? Karina Melissa. Hello. En español sería cuando es tu clase de inglés. Uh, no. In, in Spanish will be something like ¿Cómo es tu clase de inglés? Ah. Uh, it's interesting. 
It is interesting. Okay. Let's make a complete answer. Okay. My English class, class. is English interesting. It is interesting. Very good. How would you answer in number five? Brenda Iris? No, Carolina, the answers are already there. Las respuestas ya están. Esas son las respuestas. What is the answer for question number five, Brenda? What are your classmates like? ¿Cómo son sus compañeros? Brenda Iris, are you there? Ah, okay, no contesta. Okay. Eh, let's see here, Jessica Rosemary. How are your classmates like? Number five, what are your classmates like? ¿Cómo son sus compañeros? My classmates, classmates is, uh, they are your classmates, all of them, Yvette, Ivan, Heriberto, they are your classmates. ¿Cómo son sus compañeros de clase, Jessica? What are your classmates like? Intelligent in English. Intelligent. Okay. My classmates are intelligent. Very good. My classmates are intelligent. Very good, Jessica. So now we have the answers, possible answer. My classmates are very friendly. Very good, uh, Brenda. My classmates are very friendly. Excellent, right? That's another answer. Excellent job. So these are possibilities, right? Uh, now, do you have all the questions correct? Esas son las respuestas correctas de las preguntas. ¿Cómo se crean las preguntas? Las respuestas pueden cambiar, right? My teacher's first name is uh, Jessica. My teacher's first name is uh, Juan. Where is your teacher from? She is from Chalatenango. He is from the United States. Okay, my English class is exciting. My English class is boring. My English class is um, good, right? So the answers can change, but the questions, they are already set. Okay, las preguntas ya están como se deben crear. Okay, chequen que tienen las preguntas correctas y si no, hay que hacer los cambios, ok? ¿Ya verificaron? ¿Ya verificaron? Yes. Yes, yes. teacher. Ok. Yes. So let's continue with the next activity. We have in the next activity here, right, a conversation. We're practicing a conversation between Kevin and Albert, okay? Please listen to me. I will go very slow so we can practice pronunciation. This is on page 31. Kevin, what do you have to do on Thursday? What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? 
I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, now I want you to help me with the first part, right? Heriberto and Julio. Heriberto, you are going to be Kevin. Julio, you're going to be Albert. Okay. Okay. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Because I need someone to help me move some bags. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What does Mr. Ray, Mr. Ray's how to do how to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Finish. Okay, very good. Pronunciation. Okay. About it. About it. About it. About it. It sounds like one word, okay? Repeat, Julio. About it. About it. Okay. It is, repeat, about it. About it. Very good. Boxes. Repeat. Boxes. 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 Heriberto, repeat. Boxes. Boxes. Okay, very good. What is it about? What is it about? Carlos, please repeat. What is it about? What is it about? Is it? Is it? What is it about? What is it about? Very good. Julio, what is it about? What is it about? Very good. Very good. Now, I want you to please help me. It is and Nimian. I am Kevin. Yes, and Nimian is Albert. Okay. What do you have to you? to do on Thursday. I just check. I just check production for the new product. Product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Rees have to you that day? I am not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursdays? Or when does they have free time? Okay. Listen here, uh, it is. When does he? When does when, he have? When does he have? Does. When does? When does he have? When does he have? Very good. Does. This is does. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you. Now we're going to continue here, right, with the next activity. Yesterday. We make some questions, right, with this here. Do you remember we selected the answers here, right? We selected does, right? What was the other answer that we selected? Who remembers? I remember here we selected does. What was the next one in number two? Does. Does too, okay, very good. It was does. Okay, let's see another one. Number three, what was the answer? Do. Do, okay, it was do, very good. 
Okay, we have do in number four. Das. 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 Okay, that is perfect. So we have there, right, the different answer. Das, das, do, and das. Very well. Now, based on the conversation that you have on page 31, you are going to answer the questions here, okay? What are the answers? What does Albert have to do on Thursday? What is the answer to that? According to the conversation. De acuerdo con la conversación, what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Vamos a la conversación. What does Albert have to do on Thursday? Read the conversation. I just check. Uh -huh. Check what? I just checked the production. Production. Okay, the production. For the new, For product. The new product. And um, write a report about it. About it. Okay, so we're going to write here. What is going to be the answer? Albert. Albert, what? Just check what? Just check what? What is the answer? Acuérdense que en la conversación ellos están hablando. Aquí nos están preguntando que qué hicieron ellos. ¿Okay? Entonces nosotros estamos hablando de los de la conversación. No podemos poner nuestra respuesta con I porque estamos hablando acerca de ellos. ¿Ok? So, ¿Cuál sería la respuesta, Julio Carlos? Albert. Albert, just check the production. Uh, no me acuerdo qué más decía. Vea la conversación. Está en, su, en la página 31 de su libro. La conversación y esa. Check the production. Ajá. And set the production. The uh, and the new report. Right. And rice. Uh, right report. Rice. Right. Rice report. About it. About it. Okay. Very good. So this is the answer about Albert. Okay. Now you are going to use the conversation to give an answer, right, about number two, number three, and number four, okay? Let's do that individually. Hagámoslo de forma individual para ver nuestra comprensión lector. Let's do it. Very good, Julio, very good, Ivan. Thank you so much for your help. Recuerden, la, la conversación tiene todas las respuestas que necesitamos ahorita. Carlos Roberto, ¿you finish? ¿No? Tell me if you have questions. Díganme si tienen todavía preguntas, no hay problema, díganme.
Are you ready? Estamos listos, ya casi. No, no yet. Not yet. Ok, podemos acá. Para decir no, todavía no, vamos a decir not yet. Let me put it here in the chat. Not yet. Aún no. Ah, oh, Carolina, let me see. Because, ok, para ahí este, usted está diciendo que usted necesita. Because I need someone to help me. Ahí me está diciendo que usted necesita a alguien que le ayude a mover las cajas. Kevin need more of some box. What? Because? Kevin needs to move it as some box. Kevin needs to move some boxes. Yes, some boxes. Mm -hmm. Repeat, boxes. Yeah. Boxes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, and uh, in this case, it's not asking you who is he, it's asking who do you think, quien cree usted, who do you think is going to help by you that a Kevin, is going to help Kevin. I think it's enough time for us to share the answers. Tell me the answer for number two, Ivan. Kevin? Be okay, because why does Kevin need help? Kevin needs help because... Yeah. Ivan? Because some boxes. Some boxes what? What is the verb? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué quiere hacer con las boxes? Ah, uh, move it. Uh, some move. boxes. He needs to move some boxes. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. He needs to move some boxes. Very good. Right. Kevin needs help because he needs to move some boxes. Excellent job. Uh, Ivan. Vilma. Tell me the answer for number two. Who does you, who do you think is going to help Kevin? Kevin helps Mr. Ruiz. I think, okay, I think Mr. Ruiz, okay, is going to help is going to the aunt's point. Kevin. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's going to help Kevin, right? <laughs> Mr. Reese is going to help Kevin, okay? That's what you think. Cuando usted ve una pregunta que dice, I think, esa es una opinión, okay? I think, es una opinión. Entonces, esto puede ser cambiable con base en cada una de las, eh, con base en el contexto del que se está hablando. Mr. Reese will help Kevin. Yes, Ivan, that's another option. I think, I think Mr. Ruiz will help Kevin. Va a ayudar a Kevin. Okay, I think. Now, 
We have number four. Please help me with number four, Jenny Carolina. What does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Jenny? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me, Jenny, what's the answer of number four? What Miss? What does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Are you still in a conversation? Um, well, No le entiendo, teacher. Es igual a la primera pregunta. What does Albert have to do on Thursday? What does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Mr. Reese, ¿qué hace Mr. Reese? ¿Qué dice la respuesta en la, en la, en la conversación? He needs to work. Mr. Reese. He needs to work. Finish to work. Is that what he does? Finish. Finish to work. Eso hace. Termina de trabajar. Teacher, I think nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay, what's the answer? ¿Qué dice la conversación? Carlos Roberto? Dice algo, no dice nada. ¿Qué dice? I'm not sure. Ok, ok. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Ok. Let's read the conversation. Ok. Veamos la conversación. Oh, no Pero voy a borrar eso. Well, let me, let me put it here. One moment. Let's read the conversation here. Right. In the conversation says, what do you have to do on Thursday? Kevin, Kevin is asking Albert about Thursday. Okay. And then Kevin says, I just check the production for the new product and write about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day, which is on Thursday? Mm, I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? De acuerdo con la conversación, si seguimos con el hilo de lo que me respondieron en la pregunta anterior, que me dijeron, I think Mr. Reese is going to help Kevin. Okay. ¿En qué lo va a ayudar a Kevin? Check the production. No, to move some boxes. Porque eso es lo que quiere Kevin. Albert es el que checa la producción. Entonces, ¿qué va a hacer eh, posiblemente Mr. Reese on Thursday? Mm. Uh -huh. box. He will move mm. the boxes. Mm. Okay. Mr. Reese moves some boxes on Thursday. Right? I think Mr. Reese. Is going to move some boxes on Thursday. Very good, very good. Don't worry, this conversation was a little bit difficult. Estaba algo difícil. ¿Por qué? Porque no especifica. Pero desde el inicio hablan de mover las cajas. ¿Ok? ¿Qué posiblemente va a ser él? Mover las cajas que Kevin necesita mover. ¿Ok? ¿Is this clear? Is this part clear so far? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Very good, so let's continue. Let's continue right here with the next activity. Right. In the next activity, right, what we have here is that it's asking us to practice the questions with third person singular, okay? I want you to help me right now and let's read the question with the answer. 
For example, what does she do on Saturday and Sunday? She visits other companies and has meetings. Okay? So, Carolina, read the second question and the answer. Read uh, the question. Ah. Uh, what does. No, where. Do, ah, perdón. Where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? Answer. He goes the company. The company headquarters. ¿Cómo se dice? No sé cómo se pronuncia. Headquarters. Ah, headquarters. He, he goes, goes to, to the company headquarters. Very good, very good. Thank you. Vilma, help me with the third question. Which department does your boss supervise? Your boss supervise the marketing department. Our, repeat our. Our. Our boss. Our boss, our mm. boss supervise supervises. The market, supervises the marketing department. Very good, Vilma, thank you. Let's see here, eh, Claudia Yvette, what time? What time does Miguel start to work? Miguel start to work at nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, very good. So what are we going to do right now? We are going to write questions similar to the example. Ya sabemos cómo hacer las respuestas, con do and con das, right? Vamos a escoger, vamos a hacer acá, okay, respuestas. Perdón, preguntas y respuestas, questions and answers, and we're going to follow these examples. But, but you are going to do it about your classmates. Ustedes ya tienen información de sus compañeros, qué hacen, dónde trabaja, y si no, se la pueden inventar, no hay problema, ¿ok? Now, I can say, for example, in my case, I can say, what, let's see, let me put one moment. I will say, what does it is do on Wednesdays? Okay, that is my question. What does it is do on Wednesday? She, the answer, she um, calls the customers in her company. Me lo estoy inventando porque nunca le preguntado. In her company. That's, that's my answer. Okay. Then I will ask, I will make another question about, um, uh, well, about Eriberto. Okay. What does, oh no, let's see, where, where? Where does Heriberto go on, see, on Sunday afternoon? That's the question, okay? I will, of course, write the answer here. And I will say he goes to the park with his family to drink a tolchuco. Okay. Then I have the answer, right? Now I go with which, right? Which? Mm hmm. Here I have options, okay? Which, let's see, which company? Does, uh, does Claudia work for? Claudia, well, she works, she works for, um, I don't know, she works for, she said she's a teacher, so she works for University of El Salvador. 
right? That's the company. I like to say, which school? I'm going to say the math real. Which school does Claudia work for? Which school does Claudia work for? And then my last question is with what time, right? What time does Roberto start to work? Okay. And Daisy said, I don't know, Daisy said this. He starts to work at 9 a.m. Right? Do you see? I am following this to create my questions, right? I am following this to create my questions and then I put the answers. The answers are going to be different, right? Estoy siguiendo, esta es mi guía. Estoy siguiendo esta guía para escribir y hablar de los demás, ¿ok? ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer? Yes. Yes, ok, very yes. good. Yes, ok, excellent. Let's do it right now and let's do it right now individually. Let's work individually. Dígame si no entendieron, así lo volvemos a repetir. No? Okay, let's just start. Yes? Teacher. Yes? Teacher. Uh -huh. Yo no he entendido, no he entendido. Por favor, me puede explicar. Yes. You are going to create four questions. What, where, which, and what time? About your classmates, okay? In my example, I have questions with what, where, which, and what time about my classmates, about Iris, Heriberto, Claudia, and Roberto. This is the example that you are going to follow to write your questions, okay? Va a escribir cuatro preguntas. Esta es su guía. Nosotros ya hicimos cuatro de ejemplo para que ustedes puedan hacer sus cuatro preguntas con sus cuatro respuestas. Esta es la guía que estamos siguiendo, okay? Si se fijan, las preguntas son bien similares, okay? We're just changing the subject and the answers, okay? Let's do it. Siempre con esto es Carolina. What, where, which, and what time? Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Tell me if you have questions, please. Vocabulary or something so I can help you.
Tell me when you finish. Jenny, did you finish? No, not yet. Do you need help with vocabulary? With the structure? No, oh, not the chair. No? Okay. Did you finish, Alberto? Lento, está el internet. Porque andas trabajando el chivo aquello bicho. Karina, are you done? I finished. Very good. Jessica? Finish teacher. Vilma? Iris? Finish. Very good. Thank you, Vilma. Claudia, Carlos, Roberto? Okay. Julio, Carlos? Okay, so we're going to start sharing right now the questions that we have and the answers. Jessica, you start. Tell me your question right now with where and the answer. Okay. Is where does Claudia go on the Sunday? She goes to the supermarket. Okay. And Claudia, Jessica, Claudia is he or she? 
Sorry, she. Okay, what's the answer? Yeah, she goes to the supermarket. She goes to the supermarket, very good. She goes to the supermarket, very good. Write your, your questions and answers in the chat so everyone else can see it. Tell me another question, Jessica, with what? What do you have with what? And it's what time does Iris start to work? She start to work at eight o'clock. Very good, that's perfect. Thank you so much, Jessica. Let's see, Karina, tell me your question with which? Which? Which dress does Joanna prefer? Which dress? Mm -hmm. Like dress, like clothing? Yes. Okay. Which dress does Joanna prepare? What's the answer? She preferred the blue dress for go to the party. Okay, she prefers the blue dress to go to the party. Okay. To go to the party. Very good, Karina. Tell me another question with what? What? time does Carlos start the class of English? Okay, very good. What time does Carlos start the class of English? The English class, repeat. The English class. The English class, very good, Karina. Okay, the answer is? He start the English class at 8 p.m. Okay, he starts, starts. He starts. The English class at 8 p.m. Very good. Now let's see, Roberto. Tell me an example with what, not what time, what. Bueno, teacher, de hecho yo me salí un poco del papel y creé una, una especie de eh, entrevista a alguien. No sé si la puedo decir, de pronto no me corrí. Ok. Eh, empezando con la pregunta de what, por ejemplo. Este es un señor que viajó. Uh -huh. What does Mr. Tanaka do on his vacation? La on his es, vacation, uh -huh. Mr. Tanaka always travels. Okay, so, very good. Where does he, I mean Mr. Tanaka, go on, on his last vacations? Okay. La respuesta uh -huh. es, he went to Jerusalem. Okay. Which type of flight Mr. Tanaka chose? Mm -hmm. Tanaka chose the first class. Okay. And for the last, what time does he landed on his return? Uh, Mr. Tanaka returned at midnight. Okay, very good. Now, my only problem with this is that the answers are in past. Ah, okay. Okay, you need to write the answers in present. Or if you're going to talk about the past, do it, right? But you're go you will need to use did not does, okay? For example, with the question with where, repeat the question with where, where did, Carlos? Carlos, me dejo hablando solo. He's not here, right? Se fue, se desconectó. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's see here, who else finished? Uh, Vilma, what are your questions? Cualquier opción. Mm -hmm. Which school does Michelle student for? The students of the Emiliani School. Okay, she studies at the Emiliani School. School. Very good, she studies, I will put it here on the chat. She studies at Emiliani School. Emiliani School, okay. Emiliani School, nice. Okay, another one. 
Tell me another, Vilma, with where. Where. Where does Eliseo go on Saturday afternoon? Okay, she, go, she goes to the beach with brother. Okay. Eliseo is he, right? Uh -huh. Sí, he. He goes to the beach with brother. Okay, to the beach with his brother. Very good. Brother. Excellent, excellent examples, Vilma. Very good job. Uh, Carolina, what do you have? Carolina. Hola, teacher. What Perdón. do you have? Tell me an example with where. Eh, sí. Where? Eh, where? Where does Carlos go on Saturday in night? He goes to cinema with his girlfriends. Okay, very good. He goes to the cinema with his he, girlfriend. His girlfriend. Uh -huh. With his girlfriend. Very good. Tell me the example that you have with what time. What time? El what time lo estaba haciendo ahorita. Pero okay. what time? Eh, what time? Eh, Andrea start to work. What time? Does. Does Andrea start to work? Okay. The answer is. Okay, eh, sería she start the work at four, at four, at four, at four eh, p.m. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, what time does Andrea start to work? She starts uh -huh. to work at 4 p.m. Very good, uh -huh. very good. And the last one, let's see, Heriberto, did you finish? Yes. Uh -huh. Tell okay. me an example with which? Uh, what time does Jorge play soccer? No, which? 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 Which do you think um, Jorge is in connect? Which do you think Jorge is connect? Okay. What do you want to say uh, with that question, Heriberto? Porque piensas que Jorge no está conectado? Okay, in that case is why? Why? Oh. Why? Why do you think Jorge is not connected? Why? Para preguntar eso sería why do you think? Do you think Jorge is not connected. Esa sería la, la respuesta, la pregunta. I think Jorge is not connected because it's raining. Okay, very good. Tell me the question with what time? What time does Yvonne play soccer? Okay, and the answer is? She plays at 7 p.m. She plays, Yvonne? She plays at 7, 7 p.m. Yvonne, okay, very good. She plays at 7 p.m. Okay, very good. Okay, now we have the, the answers here. Someone else wants to share? Alguien más que quiera compartir? De los que no han participado, alguien más que quiera compartir? Me, teacher. Okay, it is go, very good. What time does Vilma sleep when, with her children? Okay. I, I, I think they do sleep at 10, 10 o'clock. Mm. I think they sleep at 10 o'clock. Very good. After the class. Okay. <laughs> Very good. It is excellent. 
Tell me another example. Someone else wants to share? ¿Alguien más quiere compartir? De los que no han participado. Nobody? No? No. Ok, Claudia, go. Tell me. Uh, no sé si la, la planteé bien, pero es. No which importa. Super, Demo. do you buy, Caroline? Which super? Eh, which super do you buy? Which super do you buy? Creo que es. Mm, uh -huh. Comprar, Carolina. Yeah. Okay, which supermarket, uh, she... but in this, which supermarket oh. does Carolina uh, buy from? Okay, which supermarket does Carolina buy from? De comprar, ¿verdad? Oh. Super, sí. super, si lo deja como super, solamente es el adjetivo super. Así, oh, I feel super today. Okay. Solo se definiría super, okay. como en español, me siento super bien, right? Pero entonces tienes que ponerle supermarket, right? O por ejemplo, si es en el mercado, así como los aquí, podemos decir market or farmer's market. Market or farmer's market, okay? Okay. Which supermarket does Carolina buy from? What's the answer? Carolina buys from? At uh, Walmart. Very good. Excellent. Carolina buys from Walmart. Write it down. Carolina buys from Walmart. Excellent, Claudia. Okay, now we are going, how is your English class? Uh, it's good, I think. But that is not a question, eh, Karina, for the ones that we have. Ahorita estamos practicando estos, estos. What, where, which, and what time. Siempre con does. Para practicar el simple present. Okay. Seguimos con otra actividad. First of all, I am going to call the attendance one more time. Vamos a pasar la asistencia una vez más. Okay, and let's see here. Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Present. Brenda Iris Escamilla Pérez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Carolina Yamilet Hernández Landa Verde. Present. Claudia Ivette Samayoa Castro. Present. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortez. Heriberto Antonio Alas Menjiva. Present. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Present. Elías. Present, teacher. Who is that? Present, teacher. ¿Quién dijo present? Iván Ernesto, ok. Iván Ernesto, thank yes. you so much. Uh, let's continue. Jessica Rosmerio Olmedo Fuentes. Present teacher. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present. Karina Melissa Estrada Aldana. Present. Nelson Iván Alfaro Flores. Present. Nimian Elizabeth León de Estrada. Present. Sam, eh, Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Joana Beatriz Oriana Acevedo. Okay. Very good. So we're going to continue here with our class, right? Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and practice here. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and practice here with these questions, right? We're going to create questions, okay? We have the first one. Remember, we're going to put, we're going to use does, right? So how will you create the question in number one, Emerson? Thank <laughs> you. 
Ahí está mala, mala la, la Inter ahora. Emerson, are you there? No, Emerson yeah. is working. Let me see here. Uh, Jessica. Jessica, how would you write a question with the information on the PowerPoint? Number one, why? He have a meeting. What would be the question? Why? Why does? Yeah, uh, Jessica. Why does? Why does? Why does? Why does? He have okay, Carolina, give me a moment. Uh, why does? He have. He have. A meeting. A meeting. Very good. Why does he have a meeting? Okay, very good. That is the question number one. Right? Number two, Carolina. Where does she process the payment? Where does she process the payments? Very good. The payment. Where does she process the payment? Okay, I am going to put someone here on mute because. If you're not speaking, let's put our cell phone mute, okay? Where does she process the payments? Very good, Carolina. Let's see next person here to participate. Dennis Fernando. What do you have in number three? What, what do Ingrid on Wednesday? Okay, uh, we are using does, Dennis, because these are questions with third person singular. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thanks. Okay, tell me the answer. Okay, very close. Ivan Ernesto, can you help me with number three? Ivan Ernesto. Okay, uh, what does Ingrid do Wednesday? What does Ingrid? Do on, do on Wednesday. Wednesday, very good. What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Excellent, Wednesday. Ivan. Very good job. And the last one, tell me the answer for the last one here, Nimian. When? Yes, when does the employee acquire the raw material? When does the employee acquire the raw material? Raw material, repeat, material. Material. Very good, thank you so much. Now, the questions are correct. Very good. Easy, right? We have the questions now. Now, your job is to write possible answers. Write possible answers here with your imagination. Usen su creatividad, su imaginación, y escriban respuestas a estas preguntas. Okay? Why does he have a meeting? Let's write the answer. He has a meeting because blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're going to use your creativity to create your answers. Okay, let's do that. Ya tenemos las preguntas, hagamos las respuestas.
Did you finish? Tell me when you finish, please. Dígame cuando terminen. Finish. Excellent, Karina. Finish. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, let's start sharing the answers. What do you have, Karina, in number one? Why does he have a meeting? Tell me. She, she has the meeting because create a new product. He has a meeting, okay. He has a meeting because he is creating a new product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent, Karina. Very good. Now, let me see here. Hey, Roberto, what do you have in number one? Why does he have a meeting? Uh, he has a meeting because he's a staff member. Oh, because he's a staff member. Excellent. That's good. That's good. Very good. Who else finished? ¿Qué más terminó? Solo yo dos? Julio? Carlos? Jenny? Vilma? Daisy? Daisy, I haven't heard your voice today. No he escuchado su voz este día, Daisy. 
Good evening. Good evening. ¿Ya terminó las la respuestas de las preguntas? Eh, aún no estoy, estoy finalizando la lista. Ok. Denis Fernando. Hello, teacher. What is the answer for number one? What do you have? No las he podido hacer, teacher. Es que voy en el taxi aún para la casa. Okay, I understand. Nelson Iván. Yes, I can. What are your answers, Nelson Ivan, for number one? We have a meeting because he's not at night. Okay, very good. That's excellent. He has a meeting because he studies at night. Okay, very good. Now, let's see, Nimian, what do you have in number two? Mm -hmm. uh, answer uh, is she processed the payment in the bank. She processes the payments in the bank. She processes the payments in the bank, okay? Processes, look at the chat, processes. He, she, he processes, she processes. All right, very good, Nimia. Uh, Claudia, what do you have in number two? Where does she process the payments? Um, she processes payments at the bank office. At the bank office, very good. Excellent job, Claudia. Uh, let's see, Jenny, what do you have in number three? What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Sorry, no había encendido el micrófono. Okay. And number three, in, um, what does Ingrid do the do on Wednesday. Uh -huh. Ingrid going to work. Ingrid goes to work. Okay. Ingrid goes Go. to work. Okay. That's good. Ingrid goes to work. Goes to work. Simple work. present. Remember, Ingrid goes to work. Okay. Very good. What do you have in number three, Heriberto? And my answer is, she goes to the cinema with her BF. Okay, she goes to the cinema with her BF. Remember BF can stand, by, can stand for boyfriend or best friend, okay? It can be both. Ivan Ernesto, number four. When does the employee acquire the raw material? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I cannot listen to you. Ivan Ernesto, number four. No le escucho nada. Sálgase de Zoom y vuelve a entrar. A veces así se desarrolla el audio por alguna razón eh, del, otro, del otro mundo. Daisy, what do you have in number four? When does the employee acquire the raw material? Um, because. No, when, not why. Oh, when, sorry. Cuando. Who has the no. answer? It is. When no. does the employee no. acquire the raw material? Write the answers, Anna Daisy, please. It 
It is Elizabeth. Aún no la terminé esa. Ok, Julio Carlos. Ok, the project choir on December, the uh, raw material. Very good, the employee acquires the raw material on December. Ok, the employee acquires the raw material on December. What do you have, Vilma? Number four. Mm -hmm. The employee acquired the raw material para decir el primero de mes, el primero de cada mes. On the first of each month. On the first, On the first, the first of each month. Mm -hmm. On each month. Of each month. Of each month. On the first of each month. Okay, very good. Now let's go to the next activity. Okay, in the next activity, we are going to learn how to say the time, how to tell the time in English. So I want you to pay attention to this, right? Because we, let's see. give me a moment. Okay, yes. Now, <clears throat> let me show you this. Can you see this on the screen right now? Can you see the clocks? Can you see the clocks? Pueden ver los relojes? Okay. Yes. Very good. So, yes. we are going to learn today how to say the time. Okay, first let's take a look at the clocks, right? That's the first thing that we need to do. Veamos los relojes. This one, it's at 12, it says it's one o'clock. It's 1.05 or it's five after one. It's 1.15. It's a quarter after one. It's 1.30. It's 1.40. It's 20 to two. It's 1.45. 1.45. It's a quarter to two. Okay. Como pueden ver, we have two options. If you can see, we have two options to tell the time, okay? So what are we going to do, right? Here, right, we're going to talk about the time. Tell the time, right? That's what we're going to do. So when we tell the time, right, we're going to work here. And first of all, we're going to make a big clock here, right? This is a clock, tenemos un reloj, right? With this clock that we have, right? We are going to divide the clock, right? With this, we're gonna have numbers, right? Here, we're gonna have 12, right? Here. What is the other number that you have in the clock? Right here, we have a? Six, right? Six. I'm going to put the most important numbers. Okay, voy a poner los números más importantes primero. I'm gonna put okay, six. What do we have here in the middle? We have a? Three. We have a three. Very good. We have a three right here. And then we have a six. Nine. No, what? Nine. Nine. A nine? nine. 
a nine. Okay, a nine. Very well then. Okay, now what we do when we are saying the time, when we're telling the time, right? Pretty much we're going to also work with the others, right? We work with one, right? Of course, right? We work with two, one, two, three, right? Let's make it here, four and five, right? A little bit closer, let's put it here. And we have six, seven, we have eight, nine, 10, okay? And 11, right? Okay, now this is our clock, right? This is our clock. With this clock that we have, the clock in English is the same as in Spanish, okay? La hora en inglés se lee igual que en español, right? Now, if we have, for example, here, right, we're going to have one of the, what? How can we say this? Okay. Sentito acá, right? We have the time. And we say right now that is two, okay? This is going to be our, you know, arrow that's gonna tell us the hour, two. It's 2 p.m., right? How do we know that it's 2 p.m.? And we're gonna have the other one right here that is going to mark this, right? Remember, the longest one it tells us the minute. The short one, it tells us the hour, okay? La cortita nos dice la hora, la larga nos dice los minutos, okay? Just like we do in Spanish, okay? ¿Se entiende esa parte? Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. very good. Yes. Now, we have our clock, right? Right now, it's two o'clock. We are going to ask the question. What time, time is it? What time is it? Is it five? Is it six? Is it seven? Is it eight? Is it nine? Is it ten? Is it eleven? Is it twelve? Is it one? Is it two? O'clock. Okay, la hora en punto. It's two o'clock. Then we have to be very careful, okay? We are going to use in the clock, we're going to divide the clock. La vamos a dividir. Y fíjense cómo la vamos a dividir. Vamos a hacer una línea aquí verde. Okay, this line. Okay, this line. Is telling us that here, in este lado, a este lado del reloj, vamos a utilizar, we are going to use the word after. Okay? After. With green. Okay? After. And in this other side, we're going to use the word before. Okay? After and before, okay? A este lado after, a este lado before, okay? Now, if I go here, right, and I start moving my clock, and I say here, right, I'm gonna move my arrow right here, and I'm going to move it here. How many minutes do we have here? ¿Cuántos minutos tenemos? How many minutes? Five. Five. five, very good. We have five minutes, excellent job. What time is it? It's? After. Okay, let's make it right now, it's... let's do the easy part, okay? Let's make the easy one. It's two. Two, two. Okay. two. two. Oh. Two. Oh. Oh. Five. five. 
It's 2.05. Oh, five. Las dos oh. y cinco. It's 2.05. Oh, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do the difficult option. Right? It's five. Right? After. Mm -hmm. After. 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 Two. It's five after two. Excellent, Karina. It's five after two. So we have two options. It's two or five, or it's five after two. Right? We have the options here. What happens if I take the clock right here? I, I'm going to take the minute and I'm going to move it here. Okay? It's still two, right? What time is it? Tell me the easy option. What time is it? It's? It's two. Two? It's two. It's two? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, very good. Oh. In this case, oh. we are going to say only the numbers. It's two, 30, five. 30, mm, five. 30. Hi. 35. Um, ok, muy bien. Vamos a utilizar O hasta el 9. It's 201, 202, 203, 209. Hasta, el, hasta los 9 minutos. A los 10 minutos decimos it's 210. Ok, ya solo decimos el número. Ok, so it's 235. Very good, very good. What is the difficult option? I'm going to give you one example, okay? You said me van a hacer el otro. It's... It's five. It's two, 25. Two, it's 20, uh -huh, 25. 25. Before. before two. Oh, before, two. Before. Before. Two. Two. Three. Before three. Before, before three. Ah, uh, uh, three. It's 25 before three. Right? It's 25 before 3. So what is this telling what is telling us there? Right? Right? It's 25 before 3. Now we have another option there in the clocks. Okay. I want you to pay attention. We are besides the word before, right? You can also use the word to. Okay, only two. All right, so what is it going to be here? All right, ya vamos teniendo tres opciones para decir la misma cosa, okay? We have it's 23, 25 before three, or cambiamos solo la palabra before. It's 25, 25, two, three. Two, three. Very good. It's 25 to three. Right? So we have there our options. Is this part clear right now? ¿Se entiende lo que estamos haciendo? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Very yes. good. Le voy a enseñar las formas que, que se utilizan a menudo, okay? Now, instead of, aquí ya tenemos dos, before and to. También, also, af, besides after, you can use the word past, okay, past, okay, in this case, let me put it here, wait a moment, my computer is stuck, it's five, past, solo cambiamos la palabra after acá, ¿cómo nos quedaría? ¿Cómo nos queda? Si en vez de after ponemos past. It's five. It's five. Past two. Past two. Exactly. It's five past two. It's five past two. Okay. So the question is always what time is it? So we have options here. We can use past or after. We can use before or to. Siempre que sea después de las y media, okay, vamos a usar before or to. 
Si es antes de, utilizamos past. Si es entre el, C, el 1 y el 9, utilizamos O. Ok. Now, let's see. Si es en la 12, it's 2 o'clock. Right? What if I have the clock, the, the arrow, oops. What if I have the arrow here? What time is it? In numbers, how would you say? Solo con números. It's two. ¿Cómo 30. se dice 30 en inglés? 30. It's 2.30. It's 2.30. It's 2.30. Okay. Okay. It's 2.30. Son las dos y media. It's 2.30, right? It's 2.30. That's the way we can say it. And that is the easy part, okay? Is the easy part. Now, if we also have this, hay otras personas que hablan de este. Aquí. How can I put it? Hmm. This part here. This 15 minutes, okay? This 15 minutes. If you're talking about these 15 minutes, Let's remove this, right? Give me a moment. If we're talking about this 15 minutes right here, right? right from this part to this part, right? Okay. We are going to say a quarter to. Okay, a quarter, a quarter to. So how can we say this? A quarter to. If, for example, we have our, our arrow, si tenemos los minutos acá, okay, this one, but the other one. If we have the arrow, this arrow, right? And we have it pointed at here, right? At nine, right? It's 2.45, right? That's the time. It's 2.45. It's 2.45, 2.45. But we can say also, it's a quarter, it's a quarter to, Three. Okay. 15 para las tres. It's a quarter to three. Okay. Do we understand the time? Entendemos el reloj? Yes? Yes. Do you have a question? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, a quarter quiere decir un cuarto. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Y si sería al lado inverso de, digamos, del tres, uh -huh. se podría también decir las tres y cuarto, o las dos y cuarto. Yes, but how would you say it? How would you say it? It's not a quarter two. How would you say it? It's a quarter? It's a quarter? Quarter after, after two. It's a quarter after two. Exactly. Si lo tenemos acá, right? If we move this, oh, ya se me movió este chunch. Okay. If we have this here, right? It's a quarter. Siempre es un cuarto, right? It's a quarter, right? After or past After two. two. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you, thank you. Now, do you have more questions about this? Here. Yes, Ivan, what's your question? Why? Yes. Mm. It's from five to three. 
Why is 25 to three? Yeah. Because the time that we were giving, it was this, uh, it was two, 35. Eran las 12 y 35. It's 2, 35. So mm -hmm. it's 25 to 3. It's 25 to 3. So maybe 5 minutes, but 5, 10, 15, 15, 15, 15. It's 25 to 3. It's 25 to 3. It's 25 to 3. But then 25 to 3. That's why it's 25 to 3. So thank you for your question. Remember, every time that you have, ya dividimos el reloj, ¿ok? La primera okay. media hora utilizamos past and after. In the first half an hour, we're going to use past and after, or after, una de las dos, past or after. In the second time of the clock, we're going to use before and to, ¿ok? Also, when we have a quarter, 15 minutos, los primeros 15, o los últimos 15, right? We, go, we can use a quarter, right? A quarter to, or a quarter after, right? Now, questions about this? Preguntas? Yes, Ivan Ernesto? Donde dice, digamos, dos y media. ¿Se puede decir dos y media o solo two thirty? It's two thirty. It's two and a half. Well, two and a half. It's not that common. I would say only it's two thirty. Two thirty. Two and a half. Yes, it's two and a half. But let me write it here. Sorry, my computer is is very aragana today. It's two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and it's two and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah. Uh, quiere decir que, uh, quiere decir que el before nos está indicando que es antes y el after, o el después, o sea uh -huh. que Más de la hora, los minutos. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. That is correct. Gracias. That is correct. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? Tell me, please. Because we're going to do exercises. Iris, is it clear? Nimian, Jenny, Carolina, Claudia. No, perdón, Carolina ya preguntó. Ana Daisy. Okay. Dennis, Emerson, is it clear? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. Uh, Tell me your question. Yes, Joe. No. <laughs> Nimia. Okay. Go ahead, Nimia. Uh, no logro comprender el two. El que acaba de explicar is two and a half. Two and a half. Half. It's yeah, thirty no minutes. De... Uh, dos y media. Dos y media is two thirty. O puede decir is two and a half. Son las dos y media. Mm -hmm. Okay, y en la parte de cuando se escribe in the quart, siempre se tiene que finalizar to después de cuarto. If it's here, yes. If it's here, if it's in the other half, for example, if I have here, here, and here, it will be a quarter after. Right, a quarter after. Depende de qué lado el reloj esté. Pero solo en los primeros 15 minutos y en los últimos 15 minutos. Ok. Mm -hmm. A quarter to and a quarter and after. To porque va hacia. After porque ya pasó. Ok. Very good questions, okay. Mimia. Another question, Nimia, please tell me. Uh, no. No, no questions? Jenny? Claudia? 
And a day, no Jessica, no questions. Are you sure? Tomorrow we're going to do exercises, a lot of exercises. Sí, sir. Yes, no yes. Yeah. Quiero decir, quiero decir días para las tres, tendría que ser each ten to three. Días para las tres. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. again, it's ten to. Each, each ten to three. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. that's correct. Okay. It's ten to three. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Ivan. Okay, you got it. Si se pueden el reloj en español, se lo pueden en inglés. That's for sure. Solo las palabras cambiamos. Right? Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. So, we're going to save this. And I will send it to you on the chat. If we don't have no questions, are you sure you don't have questions? No question. Okay. So, let me... No question. Let me send you this in the chat right now. So you can have it just in case, okay? You have it there in the chat. Now, if you don't have no questions, tomorrow we are going to do the practice of this. Guarden el reloj, yo ya lo guardé acá. Okay, para que nos sirva para los ejercicios de mañana, okay? We did it with the, with the two, but we can do it with three, four, five, six, con cualquier hora, okay? Lo que acabamos de practicar es con cualquier hora del reloj. Okay, now I am going to call the attendance the last time of the day, and then we're going to stay here, okay? I have Ana Daisy Fuentes Villegas. Brenda Iris Escamilla Perez. Present. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Carolina Yamilete Hernández Landa Verde. Present Clau teacher. Claudia Ivette Samayoa Castro. Present. Denis Fernando Flamenco Nolasco. Emerson, Emerson Adalberto Guevara Ortez. Heriberto Antonio Alas Mengíbar. Present. Iris Elizabeth Salazar de Flores. Present. Iván Ernesto Elías. Present teacher. Jessica Rosemary Almedo Fuentes. Present teacher. Julio Carlos Martínez. Present. Karina Melissa Estrada Aldana. Present. Nelson Iván Alfaro Flores. Present. Nimian Elisa de León de Estrada. Present. Vilma Beatriz Reyes Márquez. Present. Jenny Carolina Martínez Alvarado. Joanna Beatriz Orellana Severo. Thank you so much. So guys, remember for tomorrow, for tomorrow we're going to continue practicing the clock, right? The question, right? Very easy. What time is it? Esa es la pregunta. Okay, esa es la que vamos a practicar. Solamente antes que se vayan, no se olviden de trabajar en el módulo de clase, por favor, de las tareas. Ya vi que varios han adelantado, así que muy bien, muchas gracias. Los demás que no han trabajado, por favor, hay que trabajar en eh, las tareas de la semana, porque hay unos que no han hecho uh, nada hasta el momento, okay, de esta semana. So I will just stay with Julio Carlos and the other ones. I see you guys tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Bye. 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 See you at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. please, a las 8 de la noche. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Hi, Julio Carlos. Bye, Thank Denis. You, Hi, Julio. Do you have any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta, algún interrogante, algo que lo, en lo que le pueda ayudar? No. Con ¿No? respecto a la clase, creo que todo está súper bien. Todo está súper bien. ¿Algo que le haya quedado duda de la hora, por ejemplo? ¿Todo bien? No, todo bien. ¿Todo, ¿Todo bien? bien. Eh, ¿Plataforma cómo vamos? Pues yo creo que ya tengo todo lo de la unidad 2. Unidad 2 y la unidad 3. Ya estamos en la unidad 3. Ah, entonces creo que no han terminado la unidad 3. Sí, la unidad 3 es esta. Section 3. Uh, esta tendría que okay. terminarla a más tardar el viernes para que no le quede Bye. nada pendiente. De lo contrario, déjeme ver acá. Pa, 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 pa. Julio, ¿verdad? Julio, Julio. 
Julio Carlos Martínez. Sí, solo la, la, uni, la tarea 3, de te, todo lo demás va bien. Ok. okay. Perfecto. Okay. Entonces, si no tiene ninguna pregunta, llegamos hasta aquí. Pero ya sabes, si hay alguna pregunta de las actividades de clase o algo más, en el chat le podemos responder rapidito para que no se quede con esa duda. Ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Julio. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.